In today's video, I will walk you through how to make a color fill plan utilizing your rooms. I'm starting with what appears to be some sort of office building with an entry right here, reception, waiting area, lobby, and a couple classrooms and a couple offices. I have already placed my rooms, my room separation lines, room tags, named them, and also gave, given them a number. So let's say you wanted to either make a presentation, presentation plan or some type of plan with color just to jazz it up a little bit so it looks a little better than your black and white plan. So a good option would be to use a color fill legend. If I go to the annotate tab and over on the right, select color fill legend and hover over in my drawing space and click once, you notice I've placed my color fill legend, but there's no color. So let's go investigate as to why. If I click on the color fill legend and I go to edit scheme, you'll see that the first thing you want to look at is category. So it's under spaces. And I am using a color, I want to apply a color fill legend to my rooms right now. And so I'm going to just drop it down and switch it to rooms. And then it's giving me kind of some already pre-made color schemes here, name or department. I'm going to click on name. So now you'll see that all of my room names pop up with some Revit generated colors here. So that looks great. Um, Side note, depending on what version of Revit you're in, I'm working in Revit 2021, you'll see this option to include elements from links. That's in, that would be including elements from other linked Revit files that may be linked into your project. I don't have any, so that doesn't matter, but it's just something to pay attention to if you do. Um, and then I'll press OK. All right, so it doesn't seem like a lot happened. So I have some color to my color fill legend, but I don't have any color on my actual plan. So let's walk through some troubleshooting techniques. The first thing I want to check is visibility graphics to make sure that the color fill is on for under rooms. So I will go down to rooms, expand that color fill. Yeah, it seems to be on. Okay. So the next thing I want to check is the location of the color scheme. So in your view over in your properties palette, under graphics, we have color scheme location here. Right now it's set to background. So I have two options here, background and foreground. So let's see if anything happens if I change it to foreground. A little bit happened here. So you can see that the color is coming through some of the furniture. Um, so that's not entirely what I'm going for. I kind of want the color to fill the entire space. So the next thing we can troubleshoot, I'm, I'm thinking here that I have a floor modeled that maybe my floor is covering up my color fill legend or my color fill. So let's change this to wireframe and see if anything happens. All right, it's giving me a warning here that says Revit can't switch to wireframe because the color scheme is set to foreground. Okay, let's change this back to background and then change it to wireframe. Okay, great, now I see my color, but I'm in wireframe and I don't really, like that's not, that's not super great to see through your walls like that. So I'm almost there. So I'm going to turn it back to hidden line and open up my visibility graphics. Let's see if changing my floors transparent does anything for me. So I'm going to slide it all the way up to 100 and press OK. Great. That's more of what I'm going for. I'm in hidden line. I'm not seeing through my walls and that's looking pretty good. Now, if we mess around with the color scheme location, you can decide if you want your color fill to go through your furniture or not. I personally like seeing my furniture, so I'm going to leave it 
on background. Now, what if you don't like these colors? I see that Classroom 2 and Office 2, there, there isn't a lot of contrast between these colors. So let's go change that and make these colors a little bit better. So in order to do that, you click on your color legend, click on Edit Scheme, and now you can simply change the colors by clicking on the RGB. And you can kind of just change it to be whatever you want. So these guys are a little bit similar. Let's change them. Maybe I don't want this one as dark. Uh, you know, or maybe your company has some standard colors they like to use on presentations. You can easily switch it. Enter in the RGB here if you wanted to, if you had a specific color, or you can just eyeball it, kind of how I'm doing. So I'll make this one a little bit lighter. There you go. Okay, that's a little more pleasing to the eye. Some other options you have is clicking on the color fill legend again, edit scheme. You can change the name, the title, and you can change it to anything. Color legend, if you say apply, you'll see that it changed over here and you can name it what you want. Another thing is you don't have to have the color applied to the room name. You can change it to any one of these parameters that it's listing here. So say for example, I want to create a quick floor finish plan. Now these parameters are gonna differ from company to company and from template to template. Some companies are going to add parameters to their template that might be different. So some of my parameters showing here will not be showing in your project. So before I change any of these parameters, what I want to do over here so I can preserve these colors is let's duplicate and I'll call this floor finish. And now when I'm on floor finish, I'll change the parameter. It's saying, you know, you know we can't preserve the colors that you've chosen. Okay, I'm gonna change them anyways. So now when I say okay, you can see that the magenta color is tile and the teal color is carpet. So I've already gone in and placed this. If I go into my office, you can see under floor finish, I have it specified as carpet. If I go into the circulation area, you can see my floor finish is tile. So this is a, a really quick and easy way to show a floor finish plan utilizing your rooms. And the last step you wanna do so you don't really want to see these room separation lines on your final documents. So be sure to go to visibility graphics under lines and turn off the room separation line. And there you go. That looks great. Thanks for watching.